You know I love these little streets. I played with my brothers and my sisters and most of them. But my older brother Richard, he was very kind to me. He looked out for me and I looked out for my sister Catherine. And Ellen then, my mother, mind the babies, Ellen and William. I was I was a happy girl, but you know we were we were poor, but I only remember being content and happy. Mary, come on in for your tea. We spent lots of time down in Inchigili during the summers with my mother's people, the Cotters. One of my earliest memories I have is of my father, Richard, a gentle, hard-working man, taking me down the hill to a meeting in Cork. It was in a church on Prince Street where I heard a former American slave, a man called uh, Douglas speak. He described in a quiet voice the pain inflicted on black people by some cotton farmers in America. I was very upset and I cried. How could people treat other people like this? Our family had a lovely time. My parents read to us and we explored all the local streets and I went to school just up the road from here and we had great fun until the great hunger came soon after the birth of William, my younger brother. All I remember is that my father and my gentle brother went off to the port of Queenstown below in the harbour and my mother was, sure, my poor mother was very sad. She said they were going to Canada and there was no hope for Ireland. We no longer played on the streets. A great fear descended on the adults. We had to stay indoors most of the time, except when we went in Shagila. I was often woken very early in the darkness by the rumble of the death carts along the narrow streets outside our little room. Oh, it was so scary. The streets were silent and my poor mother depended on our country relatives and my father's friends. I remember those death carts on the streets of Memphis again when my own poor babies and my wonderful husband, George, later on too. Eventually, then, money arrived and we all, sure, we all set off on an adventure to join my father and my brother. People had died all around us on the overcrowded ships. When we finally met up, both Richards, oh, they looked much, they looked much older, but we didn't mind because we were one family again. I was a studious girl, dressmaking came naturally to me and I was good at reading and loved children, so I decided to teach. But I didn't want to boss the little children around, so I gave that up later. Then I met George Jones, a very respected man and a big union man. He believed every worker should have fair play. Oh my God, I miss him still. We had only started out in life when I lost all of them. Catherine, Elizabeth, Terence and my baby Mary. How I survived the next years, I never know. But I do know that the great hunger steeled me. It gave me the strength to simply survive no matter what. I'm old now. No one knows me here in Cork now. Poor dear Cork. It was burned last week by the English. The streets are battlefields. No one walks the streets these days. Two Lord Mayors murdered. That brave Max Sweeney man. He carried the same name as my poor only son. People are scared. I'm past caring for myself, but Cork, Cork is full of rebels and they too will never give up fighting for what is right. If I told people that I've seen these bullets before, how so many of my boys lie in cold graves around America, 
in medieval West Virginia, Ludlow, where even young children died. Latimer, so many, Harlan County, Mingo, Verdon, Paint and Cabin Creek, those poor lads at the Haymarket. We had just the constitution. They had the bayonets and the bullets and the hangmen. I have fought for the rights of workers for 40 years and I will fight until I die. All people want is fairness and a just system where people's labour is not exploited by a small group of men with money. This has kept me going through the bad days. I dream that I will see a grander society where money and capital is not all powerful. Whatever people call me, I don't care. I will always stand with the workers, always. I am going now down to Queenstown, where I left all those years ago with my poor mother. I still have business to attend to in America.